Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, the urban project, Steve and I are heading to an abandoned house, which was left abandoned when the owner's wife passed away and he couldn't bear to live in the house on his own. He moved out and left the place abandoned. Not really sure when. Do you know, Steve? No. Uh, in these trees. Yeah, we're not really sure when it was left abandoned, but we're sure we'll find out once we're in there and we're having a look around at dates and stuff like that. It's absolutely a lovely day for exploring, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. On the coast now as well. On the coast. So remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit notification bell. We're going to make our way through these trees and we'll get back to you when we're nearer the house. Enjoy. So we're just making our way through these trees now and we found these caravans. There's about three or four of them, which is a bit strange, a bit unusual, considering this is like a farmhouse. But uh, I'm sure we'll have a look in these afterwards on the way out. Steve's just there now. Oh, we've got some cars already. Cars here. Looks a bit, uh, a few broken windows there. As you can see, extra sheds, another car. Right, let's head down, see what we can find. The light's on, but it's broken. Hmm, it's a bit strange this, isn't it? Let's have a look around, see what we can see through the windows. Alright, that's a bit weird. This isn't really, uh, no one else has explored this on video before. So we always get a bit on edge. When you don't, when you haven't seen much of it. Nice house though, isn't it? Yeah. It's huge. Alright guys. Alright, so we're going to have a look for our way in and then we'll be back with you. Alright, okay. Right guys, so me and Steve are inside the house now. It looks absolutely immaculate. Everything's left behind, power's still on. It's a bit of a shrine to his ex-wife. Ex-wife? Deceased wife. So we're gonna have a little look around now. Start by the front door, as usual, and see what we can find.
straight away we have the jackets hung up. Little cobwebs. I don't know if you can make them out. And then this bathroom. Check this out. Some strange ornaments. But like I said, all the cobwebs coming through you now. All the dust starting to gather. Wow. It's impressive. That old style shower. And the soap. Sweating soap. This place is pretty incredible. Just check this toilet and see how. Only a small bathroom, guys. Picture's still hung up here. Steve's just through there taking his photos. And we'll head into this first room. Like I said, everything's left behind in here. Got the radios, shelving. But check this out, guys. Look at this chest. Nice old chest, that. <sighs> Locked. That's locked. But check these plates. Glen Vidic whiskey there. A lot of teddy bear stuff. This uh, drummer boy, I think it is. Christmas vibes. Some paintings there. Not really sure what that is. It's a bit strange. Have a look in this wardrobe. Oh, empty. Empty wardrobe there. More teddy pictures. All the cobwebs, damp coming through the ceiling there. All ornaments and what have you. Pictures. And oh, they're not pictures, just blank pieces of paper. Proper obsession with teddies. Strange. Oh, I'm not really sure what that is, guys. If anyone can help me with that, let me know. Wow. So much stuff. A little space under the stairs there. A few bits. Not really sure though. If I do the living room last, head through here into the kitchen. More jackets hung up there. Wow, look at that old cooker, that. 80s or 90s, that. Look at all these letters. Old style phone there. Hmm. I wonder if there's any uh, food left inside for some dates. Aha. Just says December. A few beers in the bottom there. Nice little find this. What's this up here? I'd tell. A bit strange. Cupboards. Empty. So the house has been pretty much cleared out. There is quite a lot left here, but not anything food wise. Some more bits there. Wow. I think this is the living room, so we'll head through. Check this out. This is nice, isn't it, Steve? Yeah. Very good condition. Very good condition. Check this teddy, though. I'm 6'3". It's the same height as me. <laughs> That's insane, isn't it? More pictures there. See all the dust on the floor and that, can't you? 90s fireplace there, the big back TVs, loads of teddies. No, not yet. It's this old lamp. What kind of lamp is that, Steve? Paraffin. One of them. Paraffin. 
see the garden, everything's overgrown. A few decades worth there. That teddy's creepy though. Look at the wig on it, looks like Boris Johnson. Come on, Bob. Nah, <laughs> does it? <laughs> That's nuts, isn't it? I love the teddies, didn't they? More magazines there. Hundred Steve teddy bears. The glasses there next to the sofa. Old TV remote. Look at the, look, look at the mold coming through. All the black mold. I haven't seen any dates yet, Steve. No. No. All coming through the ceiling as well. Wow, oh, that's done the right number on it. It's mad, this. Look at this picture. Gonna get a few more there, Strange yeah. vibes in here. Yeah. His shoe's still there. Coming out the top. I will be in a sec. The shoe's still sat there. What the hell, man? So weird. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to continue my little investigation. Try and find a date or something. Although we haven't looked in this room yet. Wow, this one's full. Oi oi. There's a name. Adam. A few bits in there. I don't want to rifle through his stuff, like, I just want to leave it exactly how we found it. It's what I like to do. A few bevs there. Ah, the old VHSs. Bottom, Jim Brown, comedy fan. Harry Enfield. Load of more beers at AR, September 03. And that's the beers. I'm pretty sure beer has a long shelf life of at least a year or two. So I'm thinking maybe 02. This was abandoned. Like I said, oh, I didn't see you there. The guy's wife died and he couldn't bear living here alone with all her stuff. This is what we've been told anyway. And uh, he's just abandoned it, left it as a bit of a shrine. That's why I don't want to move anything or anything because, you know, a bit of respect, isn't it? Don't want to come here and start setting everything up for pictures and stuff. Don't feel right in here at all. But uh, I am going to get some pictures and some nice cinematic shots. Leave everything exactly where it is. And then we'll head upstairs. <laughs> see up here more teddies curtains still in good condition I'm guessing if the floor the ceilings are pretty damp down there something must be going on up here 
Nice picture there. It's not of this house. But let's have a look at this bedroom. Curtains there. Bed still made. That looks a bit set up by maybe somebody that's been here already. Wow. This is amazing, guys. Oh, check that out. Little toy box there. Probably some collectibles. The old heater. Wow. What did I say? Two, I said 90s. And the date was 02. So that rings true a bit. A few books there. Books? No. Chatbook and stuff like that. People don't really use them anymore. I suppose some do. Look at these teddies though. Wow. I do just want to leave them exactly where they are. Don't want to touch nothing. Don't need to. It's absolutely amazing condition. Just see out onto the land there. Quite a bit of land. All woodland. And like we've seen before, there's quite a lot of caravans I want to check out on the way back. But this is insane. The rooms are quite, quite bare if that, if that makes it. Ha! No pun intended, quite bare. But it's simple. What's the word? Minimalistic, that's the one. It's quite minimalistic in here. It's a nice pan of the room there. It's amazing. Amazing condition. You can see the damp coming through again. Standard 90s style border. Oh, check that out, little tooth, uh, toothbrush holder. Talking. No, battery's gone on that. Some nice new, nice uh, paintings there. Head into this room. This is above the living room where all the damp was. Maybe somebody's had a go at the copper pipe in here. It looks like this room's been cleared. Wow, what's that? I thought that was a bell. It's a whiskey, uh... Wow, never seen that before. Whiskey holder. Some razors and what have you. Nice view of the garden. Ah, it's just a utility airing cupboard kind of thing. Obviously hung the clothes up in here as well. What a place. It's only quite small, it's deceiving. It looks massive on the outside. But we'll head through and have a look in here. There's quite a bit of stuff left in here. Maybe used as storage. A couple of trophies. Kids room. There's kids room. Look at these little wellies. Wow. Oh my god, check that bat, it's a mummified bat, what the hell, that is strange, a mummified bat, another teddy under there, kids books, yeah it's definitely the kids room here, hey this is a bit strange, the sink and that in here, ah oh, it's empty, but all the teddies, lamps, not really sure what that is there. Seen better days, whatever it is. Wow, so it's weird having the lights on and power on in here. Strange. Little uh, box there to hold all the teddies in, collectibles. Oh, check that out, little wooden carriage there. And then just bags and bags of teddies. This is a kid's room, obviously. Light on. I don't like it when they're on. Have a little look what's in here. Hmm. 
Not really sure what that is. Land revenue. Oh, it's the deeds for the house. The deeds for the house are here, Steve. That's weird, I've never seen that before. Never owned anywhere, I'm too poor. Right, so that's pretty much it for up here. It's quite, like I was saying, minimalistic. Not much in here, is there? You busy? Yeah. Crazy though. So let me know what you think of the house, guys. It's only a... Uh, should be a short video, this. But um, I'm just going to go around again. Get some more photos. Get some uh, cinematic shots. And then we'll head outside and check, and check out out there. See what's in the caravans. You usually find some interesting stuff. But... Uh, as for Boris here, we'll see him another time. That's cool, I like that. So yeah, we're about to head outside and check out out there. So guys, you can see we're outside now. I feel a little bit better. It was a strange vibes in that house. But uh, you can see, I just want to show you all this uh, growth. Look at this, this is about five, four or five feet high all around. There's some bits up there. There's a few cars out front, which we'll go check out in a minute. Just waiting for Steve to come out while it's just finishing up. That is unbelievable. That is one of the best condition houses I've ever seen, you know. That teddy's amazing. It's blown my mind a little bit. It's very sad, like, that it's been kept like that just to honor his wife. But um, to get the chance to see stuff like this, it's unbelievable. Wow. Right, let's carry on the explore, guys. Let's check it all out. So it looks like this is a bit of a workshop. There's quite a lot of old furniture in here. I'm just trying to work out, like, get my bearings to what it would be. Um, maybe a joiner. Hammock here. This hammock. That obviously went across to that one there. Ah, oh, it's broke. What a shame. But a few outside furniture. Look at that old bike there. That's pretty cool. I like finding the old bikes. Gives you a sense of the past. Don't know why, just does. But check this roof, guys. This is on its way out. This can come crashing down any day now. Such a shame. Things are left to decay in this way. There is actually a camper van up there. I've just noticed it as I was looking around then. That'd be pretty cool. Might go check that out. But like I said, guys, I do want to check out the cars and those old military style uh, camper vans. They're pretty cool. Have a look at them. Let's go back to find Steve now. So just heading around to the front of the property and here's the first car. As you can see, it's been sat there quite some time. Let me just, uh, I'm no good at cars, guys. You'll have to, uh, you'll have to help me out with this. Just trying not to get the uh, number plate in. Seen better days out though, hasn't it? It's open. Yeah, it's open. Oh my days, look at these cobwebs. Not really sure what that is, but this was obviously used for a work car because you can see on the back seats are down. He's just got wood across the back. So this would have probably been his old work car. Peugeot. You know much about cars? Yeah, this is a pretty dirt car. A dirt? <laughs> it's definitely seen better days. Look at the moss growing on it. Or Persia. Can you see the number plate there? No, we're good. We're good. Citroen ZX over there. I'm not going to head uh, over there because you've seen the number plate. See all the front of the house and everything. It's been a crazy explore, this, hasn't it? Yeah. It's unreal. Yeah, I don't really like it when the power's on it. Takes away from the abandoned vibe. Hey, look in here. 
don't know if you can see that guys look at those tvs these old tvs here wow they are old i'd say 60s 70s for them that's crazy hey you don't want to outstay the welcome yeah i know what you mean looks quite empty that looks like the roof's falling in and everything there so there you are guys teddy bear manor that's nicknamed we are going to move on to the next one now because we are on our south trip drove a long way to get here stayed in a nice hotel last night though but um we have six or seven other locations to hit today some of them absolutely amazing um get through here so yeah if you've enjoyed that guys remember to like comment subscribe check out the urban project instagram and his youtube managed just add a market explorers for everything pretty much so uh we'll leave it there on to the next one and i hope you enjoyed it see you next week